Hi, thanks for checking out Radio Drinking Game. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. You can find out all about RDG at our website, radiodrinkinggame.com, including the full rulebook and a tutorial for how to use our app. Still, I thought it would be helpful to provide a video tutorial as well, so you can follow along screen by screen to learn how to play Radio Drinking Game with our free app available on Android and iPhone. By the way, you can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Radio Drinking Game. The point of Radio Drinking Game is to predict songs that you think will play on a chosen radio station, and when correct, sentence your friends to finish their beers before that song ends. If they do, they get a point. If they don't, it's off to purgatory. To use our app, obviously the first thing you'll need to do is download it. Everyone who wants to play should have the app, though it's not entirely necessary. When you open the app, you'll see our title card for a few seconds. If this is your first time on the app, or if you logged out the last time using it, you'll see this screen. Already registered? Just log in. Never created an account? Click register at the bottom, fill out a couple of fields, then check your email for confirmation. After confirming your new account, you're ready to log in. After logging in, you'll see this screen, where you can either create a game to invite your friends, or join a game that you've been invited to. Don't be alarmed when you don't see any games listed, RDG is invite only, so this list will always be empty until you or some friends decide to play a game and create one. After naming your new game, it's time to choose your settings. RDG is a long format game, meant to be played for two, three, four hours or more. It's not like other drinking games that demand your full attention to the exclusion of everything else. As long as the radio stays on one station, you can play RDG while playing beer pong, video games, or just talking and partying with your friends. Set the duration of the game, the radio station you want to play with, and the number of rounds you want to draft. A typical game in my experience is something like three hours long with a four round draft using a top 40 radio station. Great, you've set up your game. Now it's time to invite the other players. The easiest way to do that is to select friends from your phone's contact list. If some of the people who want to play aren't in your contact list, that's okay. Select the ones that are, and go on to the next screen. Here you can type in the number of someone who has the app, but isn't in your contact list. This way they'll get invited to join the game with the app. You can also just type in a player's name in the bottom field if he doesn't want to use the app on his phone. Now that you've entered everyone who wants to join the game, go on to the next screen to confirm that the info is correct and send the invitations. After sending your invitations, you'll see this yellow screen asking you to wait here for everyone to accept their invitations. You should be playing RDG with people in the same room as you, so it's easy to know when everyone has joined the game. For all the other players who are not creating the game, they will now see your game listed in the screen from earlier. They should click Join, and after everyone has done that, you may click the green button to begin the draft. Remember, with the draft, you want to choose songs you expect to play on the radio station you chose for the game. Go down the list of players filling in their song selections. Click Next when the round is complete, and do the same for every round until you're through. You're now ready to begin the game. Turn on the radio, crack open a fresh beer, and start sipping. You don't want to be caught with a full beer when you get sentenced.